Christie Reason here. I am on the road. I've been on the road since 5.30 in the morning, of course. Um, went to the market. I got busy, didn't take a video there. And went to Super Metro. And now I just passed through the Viralio Hospital here in Bukow City. So, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. I hope you guys woke up feeling great, feeling healthy, feeling positive, feeling blessed. So today is a new day and it's a new you. And what does it mean is that you are not part of your past anymore. You are free from your past. You are free from your future. And as what I have mentioned in my earlier videos, Today is the present magical moment and when we recognize and appreciate the beauty of the present perfect moment, that's when magic, abundance, blessings happen. That's when opportunities come. That's when your mind becomes open to all the possibilities, to all the opportunities that's going to be presented to you and I would like to share with you some nuggets because personally my experience with people is very hard because we are all different kinds of people we have different experiences we went through different circumstances in life but your circumstances does not define you. It's how you respond. It's how you react to those circumstances. I admit it. It's hard. It is freaking hard. You can be depressed. You can be frustrated. You can be suicidal. You can be a killer. You can pretty much be the devil that you can be as a person. But always remember, there's also the good God in you. That we are all the polar opposites of each thing. There could be good in us. There could be bad in us. There could be poverty mindset in us. There could be rich mindset in us. There could be strength. There could be um, fear. There could be worry. There could be... There could be all sorts of negativities, but it is also paired with positivities in life. And that's just the law of nature. Why things happen to people? Why do our friends get sick? Why do our friends' parents die? And then another, then the next time the father died, and the next time the kids died, and then the next time the cousins die. Why is it like that? Because God wants us to go through challenges. God wants us to be emotional being. God wants us to experience pain and suffering. But He also wants us to discover our power within us. That we can also separate ourselves from all those hurtful painful challenges and circumstances that we have in our lives it's very hard to understand for people because they are not taught how to manage their feelings they are not taught how to manage their brains their minds their thinking their emotions and it's not taught at school i did not learn these things at school you know, that's the biggest and most precious wisdom that I have learned in my life. I am not telling everyone that I am perfect, that I don't have problems. Heck yeah, I have gazillion problems, but I shine through all of them. I come out fine. I still laugh. I still look great. I still... I am still positive. I am still strong. You know, because no matter 
how much you've hurt others or how much others have hurt you, no matter what you're going through in life, you are separate. Your soul, your purpose, your being is separate from those. And if you don't know how to be aware and consciously knowledgeable about that, you can totally learn from the experts. And that's what I've been doing because I question a lot about myself. I question a lot about my family. I question a lot about my father. I question a lot about each of my siblings behavior. Why can't they just be like me? Why can't they just understand what I'm trying to teach them? What I'm trying to tell them? My cousins, why do they have such a different outlook and mindset in life? Why do they care about little things that really don't matter? It's life that matters most and nothing else in this world. And it's what and how you do things with your loved ones, with other people, and not really money, not really things, not really material objects and possessions and wealth. No, they will not come to you when you die. You will not take them with you. So what matters is we can bring our awareness into the present moment, just right now. I am on autopilot driving which is pretty amazing and I'm gonna share with you a little bit about autopilot so as you can see I'm a person that's always into experiencing life to its fullest adventures meeting people going going around go up and about doing things because that is training for my brain because I don't want my brain to settle I don't want my body to settle. I don't want my energy wasted doing nothing. I want to put my energy to use. I want to put my brain to use. I want my brain thinking. I want my mind exercised and doing something. And I am very aware of what I'm going through every day. I wake up pretty early. I either go jog or hike. I do write my journal. I listen to my meditation music and affirmations. I listen to my audiobook. And I'm always following Dr. Joe Dispenza, famous motivational speaker, Jim Ron, and so many others. Because that is brain training. And that's up to us individuals. What do we want to do in our lives? I'm doing this. I'm not exactly telling you you should do this, but I'm doing this because it is part of my calling. It is part of me understanding the nature of the brain, why people behave the way they do, why people react the way they do, why people think that a certain person is bad and they're going to be forever bad and they will never change. Why people can't forgive, why people can't be kind to other people, why people are greedy. I'm just understanding the psychology behind human behavior. And it is very fascinating because, you know, we all just want to be loved. Each of us, we all just want to be loved. We all just want to be appreciated with the things that we do. We all just want to feel part of a certain community or group. And that's really what people want. We all just want to belong to a certain group of people and friends and community. And that's what we want, right? So we don't want to fall behind others. We want to be part because we are social beings. You know, I don't understand when people say, oh, social media is bad, Twitter is bad, YouTube is bad, Google is bad, um, whatever, internet is bad. What's bad about internet is your mindset. It's not the thing that's bad. It's your mindset and what you do about it. What do you do about the internet? What do you do in the internet? Do you use it to research, to expand your vocabulary, to expand your understanding about life, to expand your understanding about environmental factors, or to expand about, you know, understand about politics, why people do this and do that? So, really, all those social media platforms, they are gold, they are precious, because through them, we are able to reach out to so many people. We're able to reach out globally. And that's why I'm pretty 
pretty proud to be on the internet all the time and maximizing it, especially these days that it's very necessary for people to learn things through internet because we can't go to school face to face. And so people who hate internet and social media, they're just hypocrite people because they don't know the value of it. That's why they're complaining about it. And they don't know, they don't see what's in it for them. And for those people that see a future in it, those are people who have vision. And people who have vision, they are limitless. They know and welcome they're open to all endless possibilities and that's the kind of people we want to be talking with that's the kind of people we want to be working with so today back to the present moment I am in the Isle of Medellin what a beautiful scene here it is very cloudy which is good hopefully it's not gonna rain because I know it's gonna get really muddy over my mom's and I'm just grateful guys I am breathing I'm not on oxygen because I know a lot of people are from COVID-19 and suffering pneumonia I'm not on antibiotics I am so freaking grateful thank you and I praise God in the heavens for all that I have at this very moment I'm heading to see my kids to have fun with my family and to get ready for an amazing week tomorrow and I thank you guys so much for always following for always watching my videos please continue to subscribe and support this channel christy Wizen here guys in the isle of medellin northern cebu philippines look at this view here fantastic amazing and i'm grateful thank you guys so much for watching live your best life with no regrets don't ever regret a damn thing in your life just live life to the fullest be kind be positive forgive 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 and just love and always do the things that matter to you right now today what matters to you today and don't worry about tomorrow because if you do the right thing today your tomorrow would always be provided perfect and it would be amazing thank you guys so much for watching once again christy Wiesen here live your best life goodbye